introducing the Honda Forza 125, a sleek and sophisticated scooter that is making waves in the two-wheeler world. If you're considering buying a Forza 125 or just curious about what it has to offer, you've come to the right place. I've scoured the internet to find the best clips and videos of this scooter in action so you can get a comprehensive sense of what it's like to ride one. From its dynamic handling to its advanced features, I'll show you everything you need to know so sit back and relax and enjoy the review of the Honda Forza 125 featuring some of the best clips from around the web. I will be linking in the description to each one of these videos and also have a playlist of all of these videos at the end of the video. So make sure to check out these uh, videos and give these creators the same sort of love. From the in-depth reviews to thrilling test rides, these clips are sure to give you a great sense of what the Forza can do. And if you want to watch them all in one place, I've also curated them into a playlist at the end of this video. So without further ado, let's get started. The Honda Forza 125 is an outstanding scooter that offers a perfect blend of style, comfort and performance. But don't just take my word for it. Let's hear what some riders have tested this scooter have to say. So I've had a quick look at some of the reviews and I've seen these so I'm going to be quoting some of these responses. I was blown away by the Forza 125's handling and agility. The scooter felt incredibly nimble and responsive and I had no trouble weaving through traffic or taking on tight turns. The engine also felt smooth and powerful and I was able to reach highway speeds with ease. Mark Daily Commuter so you can see I love this uh, setup on this for a daily commute it actually will work very nicely there's another one here I loved how comfortable and spacious the Forza 1 to 5 seat was even after riding for hours I didn't feel any discomfort or fatigue the windscreen provided excellent protection from wind and debris and the smart key system made it so easy to start the engine and unlock the seat overall a good scooter for longer rides sarah weekend explorer now the forza 125 storage options were a game changer the under seat compartment was large enough to fit two helmets and i also had plenty of room in the glove box and rear luggage rack the optional heated grips were also a nice touch i appreciated being able to connect my smartphone to the scooter for navigation and music david his adventure seeker as you can see the forza 125 received rave reviews from a variety of riders with different needs and preferences whether you're looking for a daily commuter or a weekend explorer or an adventure seeker this scooter has got you covered so why not schedule a test ride and experience on the honda forza 125's excellence and see how you feel about this now I like the curation of this uh, setup on this scooter. I like how it looks like a maxi scooter but it's not a maxi scooter. Honda has updated both models with a new fascia. The Forza Twins now pack a new and sleeker look. Split LED headlight that said mm, the Forza 125 and the 350 by the way. If you've got a full license or you're on the A2, both retain the muscular bodywork of their large single piece seats. Even the semi-digital instrument console has been tweaked for better layouts. So depending on your budget and how much money you've got, consider which version you're going to be picking up of this. And I think you won't be disappointed. If you've got this in your sights, Honda has a great reliability option with their scooters, especially if you're thinking about a long-term uh, commuter or rider. As you know on my channel, I do a lot of scooter reviews and I do actually like a nice scooter which covers all the areas. I can see myself pulling this out on the twisties and having a bit of relaxation on this, going through summer town, even having a pillion passenger on it. So overall, it's a nice option. The 125 obviously will be friendly for the CBT rider, but the bigger powerful one, if you're going to think about it, maybe consider that. And again, take it with a pinch of salt. As you know with scooters, people don't like scooters as much as motorcycles. But if you're watching my channel, you will know that scooters are proven to be reliable, as well as easy to ride, low maintenance and easy to go around town, especially with the storage options and all the little cubby holes and extra features you get for charging your phone, plugging navigation in. Even some of the later ones have got electric windscreen, so you can adjust that wire, click of a button. They will vary in terms of the models around the country and where you are in the, the, the world. However, overall, you've got a nice sleek option here with good, easy consoles and things to think about, as well as 
buttons that all work so you can get fuel in the right place everything's going to be seat uh, buttons as well as having the remote control for the start some of these are excellent in terms of the new storage options you've got with the helmet, helmet split type boots onto seat storage situation and a little uh, hole for extra storage for your tools as well so you can see some of these images here i picked up from the internet as well as the top box which is actually a nice option to have uh, especially if you want to control and store additional items and if you're going for shopping for example if this is your main rider again i have linked all of these videos in my end screen so make sure to check out the next uh, selection